Seven divided by seven. It's a question every parent wonders. Is there a correlation between the cost of education and achievement? As taxpayers, we're told if you give more, you get more. Teachers, computers, facilities. But do those resources produce a better education? We need to change how money is used, not how much we're spending. This map shows how much each state spends per student for a K-12 public education. Dark gray states like New York are the highest, up to $30,000 per child, according to census data. Light gray, the lowest. Yet look at the two states at the very bottom, Idaho and Utah, around nine grand. They rank two and three in achievement in eighth grade math and reading. South Dakota at 13 grand, Wisconsin at 16, the national average not far behind. Which is why education experts say there is no correlation between what states spend on education and what their students get on report cards. So for policymakers, the takeaway is clear. Funding increases don't automatically result in improved outcomes. Charter schools spend about $7,000 less per student than public schools, but outperform them in reading and math, according to studies at Stanford and the University of Arkansas. Catholic schools spend even less and still score higher than public schools, according to the National Center for Education Statistics. Yet unlike many other countries, the U.S. doesn't finance private or parochial schools with public funds. Every industrialized nation in the world allows for public funding of non-public schools, except one, and that's the United States of America. So one constant across several states, where you have more competition, studies show you have higher scores, which is why many favor vouchers. So tuition follows the student, something teacher unions oppose. In Los Angeles, William Lajeunesse, Fox News.